Thanks again for joining me on this episode of MTV and today we're going to talk about how to revive a outdated or dated or dull living area. So obviously we're going to talk a little bit about paints and selections of colours but greys at the moment are really popular and particularly light greys as being the primary colour of a revival of a living area room and I don't talk about those dark greys, the deeper ones, but very very light, they're almost like an off-white but they've got that tinge of um, black in them when you, when you step, step back a little bit. And the reason why they are so popular is because when you then put a lot of other colours up against them like hot pinks or lime greens or kinky greens or even citrusy type colours, it really brings, brings those up and it, it lightens up that room and we've seen some really good examples of that this year with customers that have been taking our paints and seeing what they've done and also speaking with a lot of designers. So it's a popular choice. Obviously you need to look at a few things in terms of flooring etc but greys is the one that you might want to really consider if you are updating your living area. Now there is a rule that you should always look at when you are just looking at a living room. If you're not painting the whole house and you're looking at one area living area to fix up it's the 60, 30, 10 rule, all in percentages. Okay, so the 60% rule is the, do which is the dominant color of your wall. That's where you want to select the color surrounded by about 60% of the total colors that this color scheme that you want. So if it is a, that gray, white gray, or if you're going with sort of cool or warm whites, consider that firstly. Okay, that you don't want to have 100% of that color showing, it'll look very, very bland or the other way, that you'd only have a small percentage of it and you've got other things taken over. So 60% of that, that dominant color is on the walls, that's how you go. The secondary color should be 30%, and the secondary colors are things like your upholstery, your couches, your main feature furniture that could be in the room. Um, so it could be an ottoman, as I said, a lounge room, uh, sorry, a lounge suite, sofa, they're the sorts of things that you want to um, look at with those color selections and that's 30% of the of the color structure should be revived around revolving around that. Now make sure you, if you are going to go for example if I said you've got a light gray on the wall you might want to go with a deep or a charcoal gray as that secondary color but then you need to also check out what we're going to talk about for the last 10% which is the accent color with the accessories but just keep in mind that that is the chance where you can really bring up a room with that secondary colour, that 30% piece. So lots of fun if you are doing up a room that you can really put some attention towards that colour scheme. And the 10%, the accent colours, are things like pillows, throwbacks, throws, throwbacks, throws I should say, um, lampshades, all these sorts of things that are, are going to make up 10% of the colour in the room. But they also are ideal to give you a bit more of an accent and a feature on, on what you're trying to, to uh, portray in the room and you're going to spend a lot of time in these living areas so these are the ones you want to plan on that 60, 30, 10 rule. Remember that one. So if you are doing up a living room obviously paint is the best thing to start with. You would have seen some of our episodes earlier this year with real estate agents, the architects, the interior designers. It's the major hack, the number one hack to bring up a room. So clean the room, clean the walls down. That fresh liquid paint is going to make the world of difference. And as we've said in the past, you need to focus on those sheens. So if it's a, a low sheen, it's probably the way to go nine times out of 10. But depending on the type of house you've got, if it's an old masonry uh, wall that could have a few little um, shows in there that could show the old mortar joints, you may want to go to a matte type paint so it doesn't highlight some of those indifferences or imperfections on the wall. So, so um, keep an eye on that when you're selecting the sheen, but the paint is the major one. So that is the piece where once you've selected your paint, you paint those walls uh, or selecting your paints on the walls, you need to then determine, firstly, as we said in the past, what type of light comes in the room. Is it, is it, have you got a lot of natural sunlight coming through? Have you got feature windows that are going to bring uh, light, afternoon light or the morning uh, light into that room? That is very, very important because a lot of people choose cool whites or warm whites and get it totally wrong when they have finished and they put their furniture in. And as that's that 60% of the area with the colour, that is going to be let down by the, the tone of natural light coming through the room. So keep an eye on that. The other thing is your flooring. Okay, If you've got timber floors and they're pine floors, you need to try and look at the um, contrast between the colour you, you select with the natural light coming through 
and how that goes up against the floors versus if you've got a dark Jarrah floor then that's a completely different opportunity with the paints you can use or if you've got ceramic tiles or carpets choose that very very wisely now don't just go and think oh this will work and, and go for it get the sample pots we have our pots you can paint them out you get about a meter of paint and you can paint different colors on the wall and check it out during the, that time of day where you think you'll spend most time in those rooms to ensure that you get the look that you want okay so that is your opportunity with the sample pots to get the contrast right by that stage you may have selected the type of color of your your lounge suite and your types of pillows all those accent colors and see how, how it all goes putting it all together ceilings really really important we spoke to some architects earlier this year you would have seen some of those program as early programs on MTV are you going with a ceiling our natural ceiling white and having that as the contrasting color because it's, it's the biggest space in the room and how that works in with the paint that you've selected on the walls or are you going to go with a rounded appearance in the room and use the color of your walls on the ceiling now going back to what I said earlier about greys you may not want to look at a grey on the ceiling that that's probably not a wise choice so if you are going with the types of greys because they're in at the moment you will stick with probably a white type ceiling however cool whites warm whites or the types of um, whites that you might select on the walls don't be afraid to use that on the ceiling as well it does give you a nice rounded look uh, I remember one of, one of the architects told us that this year it's amazing as soon as they bring it to your attention you see that in some rooms now and that really does stand out if you have got the right type of color and you can still have your matte ceiling paint but go with a low sheen or a semi gloss on the walls if that's the way you want to go with those color selections I'm going to end this one with feature walls we see this so often and a lot of people complain about it after they've gone through all the work of doing their renovation or upgrading the room they go with these special type colors on a feature wall put the lounge suite in, put the rugs in place, the ottoman, get all the accessory colours in and they're really unhappy with this major wall that's just a, a, a blob of colour that really didn't uh, give them the look they want. Now sometimes people get it spot on and they do that again as I said with the sample pots and they've played it all out and they've planned their colour selections right but very very important that when you are looking at feature walls make sure that you are 100% happy that you might see it on a magazine and think, okay, that colour is going to work. But then if you're going to stick things up like picture frames or artwork or photos, it just may not give it the contrast that you want. And sometimes that artwork or the photo schemes that you might want to hang on the walls is enough to create the feature. So you just go with this, the natural four walls with the colour that you've selected and use that feature wall to be brought up with things like artwork uh, or photos uh, that you want to hang up important to get that right because the feature wall one out of three walls in a room can really make a big big difference either the, the difference that you want or the difference you could be disappointed with so give that consideration before you start so some simple hacks there on how to upgrade a dull living area if you'd like more information please contact us we have our color cards and we've also got our monster crew to give you a hand on any selections you want Looking forward to seeing some photos of uh, the upgrades of some of those dull living rooms onto the Monster Facebook page. And join me in the next episode of MTV. I'm looking forward to giving you some more information on the next set of hacks from there. Till next time.